front of that. Yeah. All right, guys. So yeah, we have the we have two heater core, uh, heater hoses for the S10, and uh, both of them are damaged. One is punctured, and the other one is cracked on the other side. Uh, I think I think it's that side. But yeah, my friend Jason here. So, Sorry, Jason. So. Yeah. yeah, my friend Jason, he uh, did some research for me, and it finds that you can't really get this anywhere except for the dealer, so we're going to have to make one using a Dremel and that, and some hose clamps, and hopefully that works. I think we just save more length yep. just by doing this. A little bit. Both ends. Now to find the right hose. Yeah, so this came off this side. Like I that. Know, I don't know which way, but it came off this side. So let's see this. This is some random hose that we found at our parts store. Oh, that looks pretty close. Looks close, right? Yeah. I guess we can cut it from there somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this side isn't... I mean, this side is close, too, actually. Yeah. It's not far off. Yeah. Because I think this bend looks more like this bend. Yeah. So we might be better off cutting it on this bend. Yeah, this side, this side needs the curvier one. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess this side will go here, this side will go there. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. It's pretty close. And then we just need a hose clamp on that side. Yep. Same thing with the other. So yes, yeah, so if you have like a Chevy S10 with 2.2 and your heater hose is damaged and you can't find one, this will be the alternative. You can see inside by side. This is the old one that, this is one of the old ones that was torn up and popped, whatever, punctured. And that's the one that Jason just fabbed. All you need is hose clamps and you're good. So that's how to do it. Thumbs up and thumbs up. Yeah.